out at the coastline today, that's Pismo Beach, and you can see that angry surf in there. So you get the sneaker waves, you get the rip, and you get the tide as well. So tomorrow morning is going to be really interesting. So many great reports on the rainfall and the surf. I thank you all. But I caution you, if you're going to take pictures and send them to us, be at a safe distance. Nancy Hoyt was. This is out in the Morro Bay area. Wow, look at that turnover there on that wave. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm TV Dave on Twitter and TV Dave Hubdy on Facebook and David Hubdy on Instagram. Got all that? Pretty easy. This is San Luis Obispo. Some uh, pretty decent traffic right now. It's 56 and 58 in Santa Maria, 59 Paso and Lompoc, and it's 60 in Santa Barbara. The winds currently under 15 miles per hour across the board. That's going to change dramatically. Daytime highs, day after a storm, not bad. Cal Poly 65, 64 at Pismo, 60 Paso, 64. Port San Luis 65 in San Luis Obispo, plenty of sunshine. We actually go up from there. Talked about this earlier, but I want to give you another recap. San Luis half inch of rain, a full inch at Rocky Butte. That's where we expected the rain it was up along the north coast with a big fall off in Santa Barbara County. That's exactly what happened. Santa Maria less than a half inch and Santa Barbara only six one hundredths of an inch. Cambria nearly an inch, Pismo Beach a half, Lopez a half, Buellton three tenths. I'm sorry, Lompoc three tenths and Buellton fifteen hundredths. So again, for those waves, high surf warning through 9 a.m., then likely into a surf advisory after that. We're still seeing some pretty big waves, 18 to 25 feet, local sets to 30. And tomorrow morning, between 5.30 and 6.30 in the morning, the high tide's going to be 5.5 feet. So on top of that swell, you get that too. So that can push water into places it typically isn't. 5 to 8 foot surf in the East Santa Barbara Channel. So we still have rain to our north, but that's not coming in here. High pressure is building in underneath that. But that active storm path in the Gulf of Alaska is still whipping up winds, winds whip up waves. So again, you can see that rain out here. This is yesterday's system already in the Four Corners area. And high pressure is going to produce winds 15 to 25 miles per hour northerly tomorrow, and then 15 to 35 with local gusts in passing canyons. Could be as high as 50 as we get into Wednesday morning. So the Cuesta grade, Highway 41 quarter, places like that, the winds are going to really cook. What's this going to do? It's going to push temperatures into the mid-70s in late December. So you're going to want to check out those hourly forecasts. There's Santa Maria tomorrow. Many more available on the KSBY app. Overnight lows tonight, coolest in the interior, 30s there. With some possibility for ground fog tomorrow morning, but at the coast, partly cloudy. Temperatures mid-60s for the Santa Inez Valley in five cities, so nearly 70 already tomorrow, and it's not the warmest day. Wednesday is, and Thursday's still pretty warm. A few more clouds kind of creeping in toward the weekend. I said I would kind of talk about that Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. There's a little system. Providing rain for Northern California here, maybe a splash and a dash, but I don't think it's a big deal. And it won't be a white Christmas locally either.